Should cancer patients eat honey? If you or someone you know is dealing with cancer and wondering if honey could be a part of the treatment or diet, you're not alone. Let's break down the facts to help you make an informed decision. First, it's important to understand that honey, particularly due to its antioxidant properties, has been studied for its potential benefits in cancer treatment and prevention. Honey is rich in various compounds like benzoic acid, taxifolin, chrysin, gallic, elagic, and ferulic acids, which are known for their anti-cancer properties. One common concern is whether honey, being a sweet substance, could feed cancer cells since they use glucose for energy. However, the type of sugar in honey is different. Honey contains glucose, fructose, sucrose, and maltose. Fructose, the sweetest of these, has less impact on blood sugar and insulin levels compared to glucose. Additionally, sucrose and maltose take time to be broken down by the body, making moderate consumption of honey acceptable, even for cancer patients. Manuka honey, a specific type of honey from Australia and New Zealand, has been extensively researched. It contains unique compounds like methyl glyoxal, leptosporin, and docosahexaenoic acid, DHA. Studies have shown that manuka honey can significantly reduce tumor growth in mice with certain types of breast cancer, such as ER-positive breast cancer cells, without affecting normal breast cells or causing major side effects. Honey has also been used to prevent and treat other types of cancers, including breast, skin, liver, and colorectal cancer. It has even been used to prevent radiation mucositis in head and neck cancers. However, it's crucial to note that these studies need to be confirmed in large clinical trials to verify their effects on humans. When it comes to using honey as part of a cancer treatment plan, it's essential to follow some guidelines. Honey should not be used as a substitute for conventional cancer treatments, but can be a complementary therapy to support overall health and well-being. It should be stored away from light to prevent the release of potentially harmful chemicals and consumed within a year of its production. Storing it at room temperature is also recommended. In summary, cancer patients can consider including honey in their diet in moderation. It's important to choose high quality honey, store it properly, and remember that honey is not a replacement for standard cancer treatments but can be a helpful addition to support health and well-being. Always consult with your health care provider before making any significant changes to your diet.